Back in the day, we used to do these piercings all the time. And for some reason, people just aren't asking for them anymore. We should bring it back. Today, we're talking about the inner labia piercing. The inner labia, or inner lips, is the hairless folds of tissue which descends down from the clitoral hood. Now, of course, everyone's anatomy is different, so it depends on what you have. Now, it is an anatomy-dependent piercing, and if there's not enough tissue to pierce, it's not a good idea to do this because it will reject out. Now, sometimes one side might be larger than the other, and you can balance that. Sometimes you can do two piercings on one side, one on the other, or you can just kind of have one a little higher up, one a little lower, or just do one to kind of balance out the other side. It's all personal preference. It's all aesthetics. And another thing I might want to point out is you don't want to put these two very balanced straight across from each other because they're always going to be hitting each other. It's really nice to kind of stack these and alternate them if you're going to be doing multiple piercings. Now, when we initially do this piercing, most of the times we're going to be starting off with a cap to bead ring or a circular barbell. Now, we can use a barbell to start off with, but it's going to be a little bit long and it might be a little bit uncomfortable. The rings tend to work a little bit nicer, as long as you're using something lightweight like a titanium ring. When I do these piercings, I typically do them a minimum of a 12 gauge. Anything thinner than that is going to have that cheese cutter effect where it's going to rip and tear its way through. So thicker, larger size is going to be more comfortable within reason. If you add more weight to it, you go really large, it will stretch the labia. So you got to be careful if you don't want that effect to happen. Now, once everything heals up, I think a really nice look is going to real short barbells with large discs on each side. And with that, you could add large gems and a lot of fun jewelry options. There are a few piercings that heal faster than this one. Typically, you're looking about a month and a half, maybe two months max. That doesn't mean don't take care of it. Take care of it well, and it'll heal nice and quick for you. And now, as far as the problems go, there's generally not a lot of them other than those darn crusties. You're going to get those dry little lymph fluids and crusties and whatnot stuck to your piercing. And if it's moving back and forth, getting pulled inside, it's scratching and irritating your piercing. So make sure to keep them clean and keep those crusties off that jewelry. And it's not a real common problem, but one thing to keep in mind is any sexual activity, something with this, it is an open wound for that first couple weeks to months. So be very careful and be aware of that. So the tissue is generally pretty thin, and I can tell you that the piercing goes super quick. Still go check out the painometer. That spiked up there pretty quick, but it didn't stay up there very long. This is a quick, sharp pinch, and it's over with almost immediately. So if you're worried about it, nothing to worry about. You'll be just fine. I'm not real sure why we don't do more of these piercings. For a while there, I seem to do these all the time, and they look fantastic. Now, today it seems like more people want to have the stud, so, and this piercing is typically more popular with a ring. But like I was saying earlier, if you put a little short stud in there and you put some rhinestones, some gems, there's a lot of different clusters you could add, you could make this look super, super cool. So, am I a fan? Of course I'm a fan. I love this piercing because it's a fast healer, it's not very painful, and it's not very problematic. Just want to say thanks for watching. I really appreciate all you guys. You guys are amazing. Now, if you're new here, make sure to hit that subscribe. Of course, hit that like button. And of course, keep putting holes in your body. We'll see you on the next video.